Hello and welcome to Green Biz Studio. I'm Grant Harrison, Vice President for Sustainable Finance and ESG here at Green Biz Group. And I'm excited to be in the Green Biz Studio today with Eric Mittenthal, Chief Strategy Officer at the Meat Institute. Eric, it's great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. So to kick us off, uh, given its contribution to greenhouse gas emissions, can the meat industry ever be truly part of the climate solution? I ab absolutely, we can. Um, and I think it's imperative that we are part of the climate solution. 98% of Americans eat meat. And so it's something that is a regular part of our diet. And so we need to look at how we can make meat and animal protein as sustainable as we possibly can. Uh, so we're working through that uh, through our effort called the Protein Pact for the People, Animals and Climate of Tomorrow and measuring our progress towards uh, substantial goals like having our members set science-based targets. From the consumer angle, I guess many people think that cutting back on meat consumption or cutting it out entirely is necessary for them to do their part in curbing climate change. What would you say to that and how can meat uh, production and consumption really be sustainable? Yeah, well, the FAO uh, has said that meat, milk, and eggs play a really unique role in our diets. Uh, they're uniquely nutrient dense and can't easily be replaced by other products. And so the real key question is, if you are reducing your meat consumption, what are you replacing it with? Uh, and I think there are pretty substantial implications for people's diets and overall health. Uh, meat contributes to uh, healthy people uh, in a variety of ways, including helping to support brain development, uh, providing protein, uh, high quality protein on a daily basis. And so uh, maintaining that nutrition and food security that uh, meat and animal protein offers is really critical. And so we feel like it is still a very critical part of our diets and something that, again, uh, if we're able to produce it as sustainably as possible, people can feel very confident in con continuing to enjoy meat uh, and having it help their health and the planet. And something that um, is referred to consistently, not just in the food and ag sector, but in, in finance and in buildings and in other sectors around sustainability is that they need the right enabling environment to achieve their their portion of the the role in transitioning the economy to to a clean one. What support does your sector need, whether it's policy or economic change or cultural change, whatever it is, uh, to achieve its vision for sustainability? I think investment into the sector is really important. Uh, as the debate gets very polarized around meat's role, uh, you know, the investor community can play a very important role in ensuring that investments into animal protein can help improve sustainability. Uh, we have a very big supply chain. Um, food and ag in general is a massive uh, economic uh, supporter and, and uh, producing uh, you know, meat, milk and eggs is a big part of that. And so uh, the more that we can invest into uh, the, the supply chain to ensure improvements are able to be made, in a way that are effective and based on science, the better. And so uh, those investments are, are critical and we really wanna work with the investment community to make sure that uh, we're uh, directing those to the right places to ensure uh, meaningful progress. And, and what about the kind of key constituent in this uh, sector, the farmers? What are the biggest or, uh, barriers or challenges for farmers in playing their role to achieve your vision and, and especially squaring the circle between addressing climate change as it pertains to their their sector and their work while meeting the growing demand of feeding the world, essentially. Yeah, farmers are asked, being asked to do a lot and farming is also a business. You know, farmers play a huge responsibility in helping to feed the world, but they are also running their businesses, supporting their own livelihoods. And so we have to make steps very uh, meaningful and, and, and affordable for them to be able to uh, utilize on their operations. Uh, and so ensuring that they're getting paid for the things that they need to do on their operations and uh, supporting that throughout the supply chain is critical. Uh, and again, that's a, a role that the investment in financial community can play to ensure that farmers are uh, seeing that benefit to be able to maintain their operations and also making them more sustainable. Great. Well, thank you so much, Eric, for coming and uh, making us a little smarter on this topic. Uh, thank you so much for joining us in the Green Biz Studio today. Thank you so much. You've just heard from Eric Mittenthal, Chief Strategy Officer at the Meat Institute.